What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be highlighting an AI match, AI showcase against Liverpool. I'm playing them on Legend difficulty and I was just testing out V1.1.4 and I decided to actually record a couple of games against the AI and this happened to be an absolute banger of a match. So I think when eventually we do get offline modes and hopefully I'll be able to share some exciting news with you guys very, very soon. I'm hoping that I can share it. Um, but I do think that we are going to get some really good offline you know like matches and an offline experience when we do eventually get this game to have like an offline mode or offline tournaments or when the dlc does come because as i said right i was playing this match on legend difficulty i have an unbelievable squad i mean ronaldinho haaland you know neymar all these guys are absolute top 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 class but the more i kind of played this match and the more i'm kind of playing against the ai i think this is a really good showcase of I'm going to break it down in a minute, but I think it's a really good showcase of what eFootball could become, like potentially. And I know, look, there is some people out there as I take a 2-0 lead early door, six minutes on the clock. I'm a beast at the game, lads. No, I'm not really. I just got caught, caught him on the break twice. Haaland is a, is a beast finisher. Um, but I do think that there is massive potential here, lads. Genuinely, I do. And this is why it kind of keeps me, because I'm a huge Master League player. I'm a huge offline player. Um, I went back and I played PES 2013 and the gameplay just does not hold up. I mean, PES 16, 18, they just don't hold up, I think, to the base that is, for me, what I'm looking for in a game. And I think this gameplay shows it. This showcase game does showcase what I'm looking for. I want dynamic kind of challenges. And you'll see here this, this play. We're going to rewind it back here in a minute, but... I just feel like that there is massive potential there that if we do eventually get, like look at this from Salah, little shake, little bake, and he's in. And again, this is the way I like to play. You know, it's not about tricks. It's all about just like little intricate passes, little deft touches. The dribbling, I think, is the best it's ever been in a Pez game. Even going back to Pez 21, Pez 2020, you just weren't really able to have these like intricate little deft touches. And obviously that gets lost in translation a little bit with, you know, when you take the gameplay on online but again i'm probing here i'm trying different ways a little shimmy in there lovely touch get into the box and i'm just dancing around the place with diaz and again they both commit and i do get a penalty and i think because we don't have an offline mode at the moment a lot of people aren't seeing the potential of what could eventually come or what could eventually you know be there when we do have an offline component of the game and it's under the microscope and we can see it and you'll see here lads look this is what i'm talking about it's not tricks it's not skill moves it's little little tiny little flicks at the last second to like make the opponent commit and i try to do this online and it's very difficult if the connection isn't like flawless you know what i mean so you get a mixed bag with it in v1.0 it was a little bit better v1.0 but in v1.0 or v1.1.2 and 1.1.4 i just find it a lot harder to do and play the way i like to play so yeah look i think that there is a lot of you know you're just the flow of the game and playing against the ai it just seems very fun you know i think this is one of my best ai matches experiences whatever you want to call it there's just so much going on in a little vacuum here that it like adds up and it's given me kind of a lot of hope for eventually win the game you'll see here you know like the player comes in i uh recycle the ball but i can't get it and then salah another little flick and trick from one of the star men of the game he rides the tackle with a little deft touch and then look he auto cancels there he's going to put that long he auto cancels switches from his left foot onto his right foot and then puts it in over the top and you can see here in the second half they're three one down they go attacking so yeah look is is the game perfect no is it is it good enough that we still don't have an offline component of the game in you know heading into august no of course it's not but i'm trying to look at what this game could become um and chances are you know if you've already given up on this game or if you've got no interest in e-football and whatever that's fair enough but i mean i'm enjoying the core gameplay of it and i do think that with a bit of time obviously it is going to get better i mean not a lot of people are going to be happy to have to wait that time and it should be like you know we've waited three years for a master league and you know that's all justified all those complaints are definitely 100 percent justified but what we have is what we have and it's not an acceptance of it and just saying like you know shrugging our shoulders and being like ah oh, well what can we do about it but at the end of the day i mean they have decided to concentrate on dream team it's been massively successful for them from a business point of view and i think that you know the focus now has to be on rounding out the package you know getting 
that offline component of the game into it getting co-op into it getting friendly match lobbies for console and stuff like that not just mobile because i think if you're watching this there is massive potential now also on that as well for the guys in the channel saying you know oh you know you never show bad stuff i mean i've highlighted bad stuff before and i'll continue to do so there's also the ugly that goes with the good you'll see there i've highlighted this in one of my uh, dream team chronicle matches i think it was or maybe it was the v1.1.5 breakdown um but again this is always going to happen every now and again i just think that they need to continue to tweak the core gameplay i think offline the game is very 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 good if you guys are watching this and saying oh how can you say that this is you know a good gameplay experience and you haven't played an offline match against superstar or against legend difficulty and actually try to play football not just ping pong pass it and you know play meta formations and play the game that like you know you're just going to be ping pong passing it like you would online i'm not saying that everyone plays like that but that is what works online if you want to score a lot of goals you know 424 formation or a 35 uh, two formation or a 361 formation overload the central area of the pitch overload it with ping pong passes touching goals one twos all the way in um and that's generalizations i know but that is kind of what gets you goals online i would definitely recommend you guys to give the ai a challenge and give them a really good go and let me know what you guys think you can get some really good games going where the players are doing trick moves they're playing to their you know star players you know they're they're very very solid defensively um and as i said you're going to get the good the bad and the ugly but let me know what you guys think you know i just feel like that there is potential there um you know am i being naive and thinking that that potential will never be realized who knows i mean time will tell everything but i yeah let me know what you guys think because i just thought when i was playing this match against liverpool i had a smile on my face playing it because i felt a real challenge it was like playing an, a really good online opponent or one of your good friends that was playing proper football you know and like had a really good challenge and i felt like when i did score my goals it was really rewarding um and that was playing against the ai so let me know what you guys think um yeah that is pretty much it i just said i'd highlight this we lads with a bit of v1.1.4 gameplay against the ai and uh yeah i'll talk to you in a bit peace